let's begin with the basic explanation of the class trial. During the trial, you'll present your arguments for who the culprit is and vote for who done it. Vote correctly and only the blackened will be punished. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened and that person will graduate from this academy. Also, refusing to vote will result in your death. So you better vote for someone. Now let's get this crazy awesome, crazy awesome trial underway. So it's starting, huh? <laughs> oh man, I haven't been in a trial in like forever. Oh, so you have experience with trials? Yeah, <laughs> since I'm a leader of evil and stuff, <laughs> I've done a lot of bad things. So, what are we supposed to do? Where do we even start? Gonta never done trial before. Not sure where to begin. First, let's breathe in. And breathe out! We need to remember our no-no-nos. No pushing, no running, no talking. But communication is the foundation of any discussion. We should not worry about our procedure, especially since this is not a normal trial. Each of us will be serving as a potential culprit, lawyer, prosecutor, and jury member. Let us proceed with that in mind, shall we? Then might I offer the first topic? Don't fucking get ahead of us! You trying to start some shit? C calm down. How about we listen first? Atua mm. has spoken. He says it is vital that we hear everyone's testimony. I'm a good listener because my ears are clean. Once, I clean them so hard, they bled. I'll begin the conversation then. There's something I found curious. Why, I wonder, didn't the culprit take advantage of the first blood perk? I thought that was strange too. I bet they just wanted to do a class trial real bad. Then Monokuma's the culprit, the doy. Cause this whole class trial was his idea. I'm a fucking genius! Wait, is it even possible for Monokuma to be the culprit? Of course not! I would never do anything to you guys directly. Even if you can't, it's a different story for the person controlling you, right? Hmm? Is it possible that the mastermind controlling Monokuma killed Rantaro? Mastermind? What's that? I don't know any mastermind. You've never heard of them. Don't play dumb with me. Who's the mastermind controlling you guys? The mastermind, huh? Odds are, it's one of us. It's Keyblade over here. Everyone else thinks so too. Does everyone really think that? We'll get to the bottom of this. <laughs> Before we determine the mastermind, we must uncover the culprit. Then we could start by determining the sequence of events? Let's take a closer look at the circumstances of Rantaro's death. Gonta agrees with Shuichi. After all, Shuichi is ultimate detective. Then let us start by reviewing the incident. Taro's body was found. 
just before the time limit, right? He was killed in the library. Rantaro was alone in the library. The culprit could have snuck up on him. What was he even doing in the library anyway? He was opening that moving bookcase for one reason. Because he knew about the hidden door. That means Rantaro was masterminding this whole thing! No, that's wrong! Wait a minute. I don't think Rantaro was the mastermind. Huh? Why? Because Rantaro didn't have the card key to open the hidden door. You'd think the mastermind would have that card key on him, right? Perhaps the culprit took the card key after killing Rantaro. But none of the pictures show Rantaro holding the card key. So I don't really think he had the key at all. Also, if the mastermind had died there, this killing game would have already ended. You are correct. The possibility of him being the mastermind is quite low. Then how Rantaro know about Hidden Door? Maybe he stumbled across it in the library. You know, like how Shuichi did? Or maybe the Mastermind told him about it. What? Why would the Mastermind tell him that? To lure Rantaro to the library and kill him. Does that mean the culprit and the Mastermind are one and the same? Hmm, that does seem plausible. It's very likely the Mastermind knew about Kaede and Shuichi's trap. The Mastermind knew about our trap this whole time? This case may have become the perfect crime thanks to your hidden cameras. The Mastermind knew about your trap and exploited it to commit their crime. So after the Mastermind lured Rantaro and murdered his ass, they used Kai Idiot and Puichi's hidden cameras to arrange the perfect crime. Did they really take advantage of our trap, though? Is this really the perfect crime? Are we in an unsolvable mystery? I guess this is a dead end. Wait, don't give up that easily. We already know the culprit is the mastermind. We gotta work together to find the mastermind. Then we can end this killing game. You yap about teamwork and all that, but you still think one of us is the mastermind. Yes, and I know that's a horrible thought. But that's why I want to end all the terrible things happening to us. I'll defeat the Mastermind and end this dumb killing game. I'll... I'll even use this class trial to do that. Kaede. <laughs> wow. Looks like you're determined to face even a cold, hard truth. Then here it comes. The cold, hard truth. Huh? I already figured out who killed Rantaro. Wh what? Why are you surprised? Cause if he's right, that would make this the fastest class trial to date! How fast was the previous record anyway? Real fast, let me tell you. He was like... Oh yeah! I guess now he's won with the win. Yeah! I think about him this time of year too! The way he soared through the enemy fleet all oh, badass! Just to die like a little punk. Shut it, you weirdos! This is an important conversation! Kokichi! Are you serious about knowing who the culprit is? Yup. So, we all agree that the culprit knew about Kaede and Shuichi's trap, right? No shit! That's why they're not in any of the pictures. So who is it? 
So whoever knew about the hidden cameras is the culprit. So who the hell is it? It's you! What? You made the cameras used for the trap, right? Obviously, whoever made the cameras knew about the blind spots. Before breakfast was the only time someone would be able to sneak by. What, what the hell brought this on all of a sudden? I just designed the cameras. I didn't know they were set up in the library. If someone asked me to make cameras, I'd totally ask what they were for. How come you never asked what the cameras were for, huh? Huh? I, I, I pulled an all-nighter making them and afterward just sort of passed out. You're getting awfully worked up. Look at you. You're sweating. I'm always sweat. I'm just feeling extra sensitive, like these big boobs of mine. For someone so aggressive, you're kind of a wimp, huh, me? Come on! Pull me up the hook already. D -d Do you want money? Is that it? Your pathetic excuses are consistent with those of a common male criminal. Why don't you just admit it already? You're the culprit, aren't you, Mew? No way! That's not possible! So you knew nothing about the trap in the library? I'm telling you, I had no idea! Not like it matters. Because I never went to the library, okay? I agree with that! I don't think Mew went to the basement either, right Kyo? Of course she didn't. Mia was in the dining hall during the murder. I saw her there while dining on what I thought would be my last supper. The pasta on the menu tastes like a lonely old lady eating her grandkids' birthday cake. Don't feel bad for her. She got to eat her tasty grandkid on his birthday. That's too sad to make sense. That's pops for you. Once powerful note. So there you have it, Mew's alibi. You fucking slug! Why didn't you say so earlier? Good job, Kaede. Guess I shouldn't have judged you by your lackluster rack. What Gilgamesh level condescension? But which Grail War are you from? Wow, another reference we don't get. <laughs> You must be a hardcore loser. Oh, sorry. Sometimes my hobbies just sort of slip in. Hey, don't be acting all cocky, Kokichi. You put my ass in the hot seat earlier. How about you just keep your fucking mouth shut, you lying little abortion? What? Th that was really uncalled for. I only said that to find the culprit. <laughs> You're so mean! Hey, I feel a lot better now. Cool your jets, kid. Samugi and Kirumi were both in the dining hall as well. We can dismiss those four as potential culprits if they were together the entire time. No, not the entire time. At one point, Sumugi went to the restroom. Oh, so you brought that up after all. It's true. I went to the restroom closest to the dining hall. Oh? Did I hear that right? The restroom, you say? Excellent! I was waiting for this moment. I'm getting so excited right now! Ew! Why? 
Did you take a firm dump? Or was it a soft one? Why are you assuming she was dropping a deuce in there? But I really did just go to the restroom, not the basement, you know? Also, I don't think I was there long enough to be suspicious, right? You're the ultimate cosplayer, though. You could have just disguised yourself as someone else while you were out. Disguised? No, no! I don't do disguises! I don't think that's possible, and I know the reason why. only cosplay as fictional characters. That's what cosplay is supposed to be in the first place! Lately, some people prefer to cosplay as non-fictional characters, which is unforgivable! It's so unforgivable that I break out in cospox if I even attempt it! Yeah, the cospox was pretty gross. I see. If that's the case, then there's no way you could have been in disguise. Sorry about that, Tsumugi. I just thought it was something to check. Oh no, it's fine. I'm not bothered by it at all. Aww, Tsumugi is so nice! She's way better than you! Well, fuck you too! Getting back on topic, we now have alibis for the people in the dining hall. So we know that Kirumi, Sumugi, Miu, and Kyo can't be the culprit. Congratulations to the four of you! You can all leave now! Huh? Can they? So what about the swines who went to the basement? They're all suspicious, right? Which of us went to the basement? Well, when Shuichi and I were on lookout, we saw... Kaito, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Himiko, Angie, and Rantaro. So, seven people in total. So the culprit is among those seven? Why not torture the truth out of them? It would be the quickest method. Wait! Please! No torture! My tolerance for pain is actually really, really low. I'll tell you everything! Anything! Just please don't hurt me! Please just tell us what happened. If the culprit is among that group, then wouldn't Maki be the most suspicious? Just look at her. She could definitely kill someone. Stop being so stupid. The culprit could easily be anyone, like Kaito. What are you talking about? There's no way I'm the culprit! Who's the culprit? Who? Gonta is gentlemen. Gentlemen not hurt people. It's not me either. Murder sounds like way too much work. I have an alibi. Who's the culprit, for fuck's sake? We need to calm down. If everyone talks all at once, then we can't discuss anything. It's all right, Kaede. We just need to listen to everyone's statements. You can do this, right? Why don't you ask the shady guy who invited me? What? You mean me? But I just said it wasn't me! Don't rush the blame on me! 
You degenerate males and your thrusting! Ugh. You're not a bad girl, really. If you don't believe me, ask my mommy. Yee! I have an alibi! I'm I have a culprit! too. I would never punch a foe from a little the guy who wanted to sell in the basement. A true Aikido master what? would never do something Are you talking about me? We were having crazy. a strategy yeah. meeting together, yeah. remember? Red the only one who left like in the middle of it. I hear it! Wait a minute, Kaito. Wasn't there someone else who disappeared other than Rantaro? That idiot already forgot. Gonta also left during the strategy meeting. Yeah, he locked himself up in the AV room and... Hey, wait a sec! Idiot! Is that right, Gonta? Y yes Gonta watched Bug Movie to fill Gonta with fight so Gonta can fight Monokuma. Were you trying to imagine yourself as a huge mantis with swords for hands? Oh, come on! How is looking at bugs supposed to put you in a fighting mood? A terrible idea! Like putting ketchup on a hot dog! But why did you lock the door? Because don't a neat focus. Everyone suspect Gonta? Why? You don't have an alibi! Oh! Gonta just need alibi? Okay! Gonta will get alibi! Just tell Gonta where to find it! The way this debate is going, this will be difficult to refute. <laughs> what will you do? Without an alibi, we'll all choose you. Gonta. Please understand that in order to reveal the truth, you must also participate. But Gonta not sure where to start. You just have to tell everyone why you couldn't have done it. If you're not the culprit and we all vote for you, then we're dead too. Our lives are riding on your word. You got this. Okay, Gonta will try. For everyone's sake! Gonta not culprit! Cause to leave AV room, Gonta must walk through game room where friends are to even reach hallway. If you can't get to the hallway, you can't go to the library. AV room's got more than one entrance though. There should have been a door facing the hallway too. The sliding door across from the rear entrance, correct? With that sliding door, No, that's wrong! It's not possible to use the sliding door. You saying I'm wrong? You got a lot of ass to be contradicting me! Did you mean to say sass? I, am. Um, think you left out an S. The sliding door always jams. You're only able to open it a crack. The only part of your body that will be able to go through is your arm. And there was no indication of the door being forced. There was dust on the track. In other words, the chance they came out the sliding door is zero. Uh, I see. So, 
I made a mistake. How rare. It's not that rare for you to make a mistake. Your entire existence is a mistake. Vicious little... If Gonta couldn't use the sliding door, then in order to get to the library... He'd have to go through the game room. But I didn't see him at all. See? Gonta tell you he not culprit. No, we cannot confirm that just yet. Eh? My apologies, Gonta. I do not mean to put you on the spot like this, but... Because I promise to do my best, I will fulfill that responsibility. Are you saying Gonta could still be the culprit? There is the possibility that Gonta killed Rantaro from the AV room. From the AV room? How? Oh, ho! I didn't know that was a possibility! Not only could he have killed Rantaro from the AV room, but also... He would not appear in any of the pictures from the cameras placed in the library. And how did Gonta kill him? Well, it's obvious to this glamorous girl genius. But maybe explain for these dimwits. First, I will explain the layouts of both the AV room and the library. The sliding door in the AV room faces the rear door of the library. Because of this, it is possible for Gonta to have killed Rantara while he was in the AV room. In order for the murder to take place, the rear door of the library must be opened. Oh, wait a sec. Isn't that impossible? The AV room's sliding door doesn't open, so you can't get into the hallway. If you cannot enter the hallway, how would you open the rear door to the library? Although you cannot fit your whole body through the sliding door, an arm would suffice. It would be possible if you used a particular item in the AV room. I get it! Is it the projector screen? That is correct. You can make a long pole if you roll up the screen. It would be possible to reach the library door with it. If you use the rolled up screen to reach the library's rear door, then you can open it. The screen itself is quite heavy, but that would not have been a problem for Gonta. Yeah, no problem for Gota. Oh my, how honest. Well, if you open the library door, the camera would take your picture. Uh, actually, the camera wouldn't be triggered just by opening the door. Shuichi and Kaede's pictures were like that as well. The shutter only went off once someone set foot into the room. Okay, so it was possible to open a library door, but where does that get us? Gonta still couldn't have gotten from the AV room to the library. Gonta did not enter the library. He killed Rantara while he was still in the AV room. Gonta threw the shot for Cole? Wait! Wait, I say! Why would anyone do something so crazy like throw a... Wait! That's actually not crazy at all! Throwing a shot football is totally normal! Yes, the act of throwing a shot football could lead one to use it as a weapon. 
even if a person couldn't fit through the space, a shot put ball certainly would. Rentaro's body was across from the AV room sliding door as well. As long as the rear door of the library was open, he would have been able to hit the victim. That's quite the distance, though. And that shot put ball was pretty heavy. Did you forget already? Gonta easily picked up the heavy manhole cover. It would definitely be feasible for him to throw a shot put ball at his target. Yep, a walking talking Roomba can't compare to a mighty beast like Gonta. That Roomba remark is probably not about me, as I have a variety of custodial functions. Well, Gonta, can you throw a shot put ball from that distance? Yes, probably. You're too honest, Gonta. <laughs> You're so cool, Gonta. You could be the ultimate shot putter. Well, I've heard enough. Gonta's the culprit. Wait! Gonta never hurt anyone! Not even insect! Gonta telling truth! Gentlemen never tell lies! Well, there you have it. What do you guys think? I would like to believe him, but without evidence, we cannot. Culprit! Honest! A typical degenerate male excuse! Rantaro's corpse in the AV room door. Do line up with one another. There are no obstacles in the way. No, that's wrong! It would have been impossible for Gonta to have thrown that shot from the AV room because there was an obstacle between Rentaro and Gonta. Obstacle? The moving bookcase. When Rantaro was killed, it should have been open. Yup, that's our evidence. The bookcase door was open when he was killed. Here, look! These two pictures were taken by the camera facing the moving bookcase. These photos were taken moments before Rantaro was killed. The bookcase door is completely open here, and then it closes automatically. So by the time we entered the library, the door had already closed itself. Before Rantaro was killed, the bookcase door was open. Even if Gonta did throw the shot, it would have hit the bookcase instead. I see. Well, that pretty much shuts the book on that theory, then. If that's true, then there's no possibility that Gonta is the culprit. What? Why are you making this so complicated? Just be the culprit already. Uh, sorry. I don't think you need to apologize. Yeah, that's right. A man shouldn't apologize so easily. I should be the one to apologize. I am sorry for accusing you, Gonta. 
No, going to understand. Because we got to find culprit. Well said. For a degenerate male, you're actually pretty reasonable. Ugh, I hate this sentimental crap. Why is that? It's nice when everyone gets along like this. Are you stupid or something? I can't stand people having a good time! That is too evil to feel ashamed for being evil. We could learn a lot from him. Don't mind me. I'm not actually taking notes. I'm placing bets on racehorses. I'm Jones in relief! I need a raccoon tail to chase my dragon! It's good that Gaunt is in the clear, but don't break out the confetti just yet. We're out of suspects now. On top of that, we still don't even know how Rantaro died. So we only know what the weapon is? How are we supposed to find the mastermind with that? We know the murder weapon is the shot put ball, but where did the culprit get it? I think it was from the warehouse. I saw track and field equipment there. Then anyone would have been able to obtain it. We need more information. What's wrong, Shuichi? Huh? Uh, uh, it's nothing. Culprit! Quit hiding! Just be a man and fess up already! We don't even know if they're a guy or not, though, right? Or if they're even human. Are you referring to me? Don't worry, you guys. We're one step closer to the truth, so don't give up! Try to remember what happened. We can find more clues left by the Mastermind. What kind of clues? Like, if Rantaro was deceived by the Mastermind and went to the library, maybe somebody saw Rantaro having a suspicious conversation with someone. It would be a good idea to figure out who knew about our trap. Either way, anything you guys remember might be able to help with the case. Yes, yes! But... Are you sure the culprit is also the mastermind? Huh? Yeah, I think so. Why? Then what the two had just told me about how the culprit entered the library is correct! Huh? I didn't hear anything. Ah, that's right. Only I can hear the voice of a Tua. Then I will speak on the Tua's behalf! as his prophet. If the culprit is the mastermind, they could have entered the library while avoiding the cameras. Are you serious? There's a way to do that? Super serious, brother. You do too, it sounds like a shady weirdo. Continue explaining on his behalf. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. Only a tour knows the truth behind this incident. Comfort was hiding in the library the whole time, before Kaede and Shuichi even placed the cameras. Where would they have hidden? Inside the hidden door! No, that's wrong! Wait a minute, Angie. I don't think it was possible to hide in the hidden door. What? You dare challenge Atua? I don't think the hidden door was ever used.
While investigating the mastermind, I placed dust on their card reader. If anyone swiped their card key, the dust would have fallen. We already confirmed during the investigation that there was no dust on the floor. The bookcase hadn't been opened, so I doubt anyone was hiding in there. The fog has lifted. <laughs> We've still got a ways to go. Huh? W what do you mean? The culprit could have been in the library before the cameras were even set. We won't be able to prove anything with weak reasoning like that. Even if we rule out the hidden door, the library's got no shortage of hiding spots. There's piles of books all over. Since the culprit was there before the cameras were placed, they could have been hiding there, you know? They took out Rantaro, then took off. But if the culprit killed him and ran away, wouldn't they have been caught on camera? Not if they went back into hiding. Right after killing Rantaro. Then, once everyone's gathered around the body, all they gotta do is act like they just ran in. We join everyone and we be none the wiser. I'll cut your words! The culprit met him inside the library? That doesn't seem possible, though. Let's hear it, then. What's your reason? If you take a look at the three pictures from the camera we placed near the front door, This is when Shuichi and I met up with Kaito and Tenko, and then rushed in. This one shows the other four people running in after they heard Tenko scream. And finally, everyone else coming in after hearing the body discovery announcement. You can clearly see everyone entering the library in these pictures. It wouldn't make sense if there was someone hiding in the library the whole time. Well, that does cover everyone now, doesn't it? I guess the one who still has a ways to go is me. Don't worry about it. It's better to think about each possibility anyway. Right, Shuichi? Hmm? Ah, um, yes. So the real question is how the culprit entered and exited the library. We cannot continue until we address that problem first. It's quite the mystery. How did the killer avoid being caught by the cameras? Almost like they were invisible. Oh, but it wasn't me. My magic can only make you half invisible. To be specific. That's kind of a half-baked invisibility spell, isn't it? But both doors to library had hidden cameras on them. How about the vent in the library? Maybe they came in through there. But Shuichi and I were on lookout in the classroom with the connecting vent. The culprit waited until Kaede and Shuichi weren't looking then turned invisible. Himiko is really gung-ho about her invisible culprit theory! Um, yeah, no. There's no way someone snuck into the library through the vent. I also stacked some books in front of the vent. If someone did crawl in and out from the vent, the books would have collapsed. 
While we were investigating, they were still neatly stacked the way I placed them. Maybe they put the books back when they left the room. That would be quite difficult to achieve on such a narrow bookcase. If we've ruled out the vent and doors, then how'd the culprits get in and out of the library? Maybe... Divine Intervention? Gonta no can think of any other way to enter. Eureka! I know how the culprit got in the library! The front door! Um, have you been paying attention? The camera would have taken their picture. Not if the culprit timed their movements around the camera intervals. Huh? Intervals? What is that? Basically, the culprit knew about the cameras and their intervals. So they snuck into the library between camera shots to avoid appearing in the photos. <laughs> I know, I know. Beauty and brains. Why? It's just not fair. Mew, what's this interval you're talking about? Huh? Oh, now you're asking me. After the shutter snaps, the camera can't take a new photo for 30 seconds. Because I redesigned the cameras to auto-roll the film instead of having to do it manually. That's the first time I'm hearing about this. Why didn't you tell us from the start? <laughs> but, but I told your little beta boy toy after I gave you the remodeled cameras. What? Sh Shuichi? Uh, I'm sorry. I... I guess I forgot to tell you. How could you forget to tell me? I didn't think it would affect the plan. I... I didn't realize it would matter. I guess I just forgot to mention it. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I forgot. What a pitiful excuse. Yeah, that's pretty much a lie. N no, it's not a lie. He probably just forgot. There was so much going on at the time. It's only natural to forget, you know? Yeah. Let's put that aside for now and talk about the camera intervals. Each interval lasted for 30 seconds, correct, Mew? Yeah, sure. I'll explain it again to you mushheads. The three cameras that Kai Idiot and Puichi place go off when they pick up movement. From there, it takes 30 seconds for the film to auto-roll to the next photo. So, for 30 seconds, anyone could have entered the library without their photo being taken? That may have been enough time to kill Rantaro and exit the library. It's definitely enough time! You just gotta move at lightning speed! I see, I see! Then there's no doubt the culprit made use of the camera's intervals! That means the culprit was Mew all along, since she knew about the intervals! Don't be an asshole! I have an alibi! Remember the dining hall? Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> who else knew about the intervals? Hmm. Now, who was it again? Shuichi. Uh, uh. <laughs> well, then, does this mean that he is the culprit we have been seeking? Hey, what gives, Shuichi? Shuichi would never do that, right, Shuichi? You had better speak soon. Your silence only damns you further. That's up already! Did you kill Rantaro? Hey, Shuichi. 
Luigi, what's gotten into you? Don't tell me you're gonna plead the fifth now. <laughs> oh man, this is getting good! Entertain me, peasants!